What's going on guys, Flying DBZ here, and finally, finally, the Legendary Arena, Kobalion is here, finally. I'm so, I was so excited all day yesterday, I was at work, and I was like, I wanna, I want the event to come out right now, even though I'm at work, I was, <laughs> I was just going crazy for the Legendary Arena. Um, but, I have not taken on the event yet. Uh, as you can see in the news, in the news section, the event is finally here. So we got the, uh, the artwork is really nice. I really like it. Uh, so it came out 2 a.m. my time since that's the refresh for me. But I'm never awake at that time because like I got work, so I'm heading to bed. Uh, but the Legendary Arena details are here if you want to read over that. I'm not going to go over it. Um, and then I said, important to attempt the Legendary Arena. Uh, okay, so it just gives you um, <clears throat> requirements of what you need to do to get uh, the event so that like, you can challenge it. So just beat chapter 2, I think, or something like that. But anyways, we're going to go into the event right now. Um, yeah, so it came out 2 a.m. my time. Uh, ends, oh wait, yeah, okay, ends on the 21st of this month uh, at, uh, at 2 a.m. Okay, cool. Uh, so we're going to go into it, and here's week the fire. And uh, the first one, the normal difficulty, is going to be super easy to do. Um, this is not the team that I'm... <laughs> I'm not going to be taking Guzma in. Uh, or Guzma. Guzma. Uh, I'm probably going to go in with Eevee. Because... Why not? Where is Eevee? There you go. Okay, there we go. Uh, or I might go in with Rotom. Uh, but I do would like someone uh, that could heal. But, anyway... I'm so hyped for this. Uh, so the normal dif difficulty is going to be at 17,500, as we did discuss in the uh, data mine video about this event. Uh, I, I I don't know if it actually is like that, or if it uh, if, if they did change it up. I'm pretty sure it's still the same as uh, when we. And oh my god, this guy is tall. I didn't think it was actually going to be that tall because I saw him on the on the official Pokemon. Twitter and uh, yeah he uh, <laughs> it's weird seeing him in person damn what why he's not taking crit damage what yeah he's not taking crit damage that's so weird I guess he's immune to crit or something cuz he is not taking crit damage that is weird I've never seen that Okay, I think now, I, I don't know, we, we are not taking crit damage. Okay, well, <laughs> this is a little bit different. This is a little bit different than what I'm used to. I'm so used to hitting for crit and then doing like 7,000 damage and stuff like that. They probably knew Charizard was just going to destroy this event if uh, when people went into it. So they're like, you know what? Nope, everybody is not going to be able to do crit because then, uh, yeah, so no crit for you guys. <laughs> So that's probably what they did. Like, he, I think he is immune to crit, if anything. Uh, I'm not gonna go and do. Oh wait, and this is only the first difficulty. Oh man, okay, we're gonna use a potion on uh, Eevee just because. Yeah, we need Eevee to survive. Cause I do not want Charizard to get hit. Uh, so every time we think we're with Charizard, uh, it's not gonna be as strong as the first time. So yeah. Uh, I would, hmm, okay, so we're going to go for a heal again with Eevee, and uh, so, wait, so that's just the first bar, so maybe the second bar we're, we're able to do crit damage, maybe, I guess we'll find out, uh, nope, but I think his defense is lower, yeah, his defense is lower now, uh, but... Yeah, okay, so obviously the first one we will be able to take out easily, no problem. Uh, but it's just so weird. Like, I don't know if, we're, like, we're not doing crit, because Charizard definitely would have been doing much more damage. Uh, but we are starting to do slowly more damage, just because every time you knock out a health bar, he, uh, his uh, defense is lowered and stuff like that. And I think every time he uses his, uh, his uh, rock, rock smash or something like that, his defense goes down. Okay, so now we're on the last health bar, and uh, wow, for the first uh, difficulty, this is taking quite a bit. 
All right, so now we're pretty close to 5,000 damage, and, uh, ooh. Yeah, one more hit and we're done. We're done. We're gonna go for Heat Wave just because I, w I wanna do as many hits as- uh Oh, not good, not good. Yeah, and we're dead. Okay, cool. All right, and this is the first difficulty. Wow, all right. If we were able to do crits, we definitely would've been able to beat this with Charizard right away. Uh, so for the first 10 rewards, we get 50 gems, three, uh, 20, three star level up manuals, we get, uh, one level, uh, one star level up manual, two, two star level up manuals, and then all these, uh, buffs and stuff like that to level up our sync pairs, uh, so yeah, nothing much. Uh, you only get the 20 three star level up manual just once for beating it, uh, or getting through a certain, um, stage. Uh, but we're actually just gonna go in with uh, this team now just for the hell of it because we only have 45% HP left to go on so we'll, we'll go through that uh, and this is just a video to just go through the event as fast as possible or just to go through it to see what we can expect and uh, and then I'll probably just do a proper video trying to take on the event uh, right after this so I just wanted to get through the event and see uh, what we could do and just sort of explore and uh so far it is yeah it's definitely different from Ente just because we are not able oh we are we can do crit so he's probably just very bulky then yeah he's probably just very bulky wow okay so that's a crit uh he yeah he's definitely very bulky that's just what it is so we were doing crits, but he was just very bulky. Because of the super effective, we weren't seeing the crits happen. So, yeah, all right. Well, <laughs> he's very bulky for sure. So, yeah, stage three is going to be very tough for a lot of people. And my Charizard is uh, 13 out of 20 in the potential. So, like, he's not weak by any means. So... This definitely shows that it's going to be pretty tough to take on the event. And in my opinion, I think he's going to be hes a little bit tougher than Entei. Just because, like, this guy is bulky. Like, do you not see the damage he's taking? <laughs> he's so bulky. Alright, so we're almost there. Please, don't attack me. let me do one more. Let me do one more hit. One more hit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, well. All right, well, that's, uh, <laughs> that's something. We only have 4% HP left. Uh, I'm going to go in with a, up with a proper team after... Oh, okay, so edit, and then we're going to go in with... Um, hmm, okay, who are we going to go in with? I'm thinking of going in with Infernape. Uh, my Ho-Oh I need to finish up with. Um, I don't like Ho-Oh that much, to be completely honest. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's just go in with, uh, okay. Hmm. I don't know, this is tough. <laughs> uh, okay, you know what, screw it. Let's just go in with this, Empoleon, and, uh, for the defensive, we'll just go in with, uh, you, and then we'll go in with, uh, whatever. We'll, uh, we'll just go in with, uh, AG Slash. As like a, I guess, secondary uh, defensive type. I'm not going to bother with equipment. Just going to go in with, uh, uh, with the Poliad. Uh, we only have 4%, 4 HP left. So we're just going <laughs> to do as much as we can. Uh, no hesitation. Then we're going to go off with uh, special attack. Uh, and then we're going to go with on guard. And then we're going to go with another special attack. <laughs> Please don't kill us. Oh, God. Oh, no, I forgot to put the tactics. Oh shit, this is not good. <laughs> Damn, okay, this is not good. I complete. I, yeah, I, I, I really messed up. <laughs> I really messed up. I, uh, yeah, okay, so that was a massive fail. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I did not expect that. I totally forgot about the, uh, we're not even gonna be able to finish this. Damn. So we got plus three attack now, and then we got crit. Uh, come on, please, please finish him off. Please finish him off. <laughs> please. 
<laughs> I messed up big time, please. AG Slash, finish him, finish him. Oh no, we gotta go for a King Shield. King Shield, King Shield. Ah, ha <laughs> ha. Minus two attack. Yep, that's right. What are you gonna do now? Ooh, nice. Alright, so we got one more HP. We got one more attack. Come on, one more, one more. Please finish him off. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. I messed up big time on that. <laughs> so, completing it, we get 100 chance, so in total we get 150, and then we get one fourth star power up, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and those are the big things for completing it this time around. Alright, so now we're on the second stage. Uh, <laughs> we're on the hard difficulty, and that is 29,000. Uh, okay, uh, apply multiple status conditions block incoming physical attacks. The opponent takes less damage when it is not affected by a status condition. Uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. So that's what we need to do. Uh, we need to put a status condition on him. So Torko will be very good here. Torko, obviously Delphox, uh, Serena, she'll will be very good here. Uh, so instead of having uh, Rapidash on this team, I'm actually going to... I'm going to change this team up like this right now, so for Rapidash, we're going to exchange him with uh, Torkoal, so where is Mr. Torkoal, so Torkoal is going to be there, and then we're going to put in Torterra, I'd rather have Torterra in just because every time he uh, attacks my Torterra, his attack gets lowered, so it, it will probably will benefit much more like that, and then with Torkoal burning Cobalion. He's gonna be so much better because then if he takes more damage when he has a status condition we're gonna be able to do so much more damage with Torterra I mean with Charizard and then having uh, a Torterra there to lower his attack it's gonna be a very good combination in my opinion so I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in with this I'm gonna go in with this team and we're gonna see what we could do on stage 2 so maybe stage 2 will be a lot easier now because we're gonna be able to put in a status condition on him uh, so we're gonna go with the Will-O-Wisp and hopefully it could land And we're gonna go for a defense as well right away. I Don't know if Cobalion could uh, take away his uh, Status condition, but if he can that's still fine because we could use uh, uh, Ember as many times as we can and uh, Yeah, okay, so <laughs> we're definitely doing a lot more damage. So that's good. I'm very happy with that. Uh, so we're going to go for a Mega Evolution already, which is good, because then we can do even more damage, because that's what we want, for sure. Uh, the only thing is, we're not going to be able to have a Move Gauge Refresh, but that's alright, because Charizard, if we get lucky, could restore one bar, which could bring us to Blast Burn a lot faster. And, uh, okay, so a, status so a Status Condition can go away, uh, but that's totally fine uh, for the amount of uh, damage we do. When his uh, burden is up, it's a lot. We could do a lot of damage, so it's good. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> a lot of damage. Uh, okay, so first part is done already. Nice, okay. So we're going to have to go for another Will-O-Wisp. So I'm going to wait for the bar a little bit just so we can start attacking like right away. I'm going to use a full restore on uh, Torterra just so we can take more damage. I'm gonna go for another sync move, and uh, I think we should be good. We'll be able to take on stage two, no problem now. Uh, I totally forgot that uh, having a status condition on uh, Cobalion makes it easier. That just flew right by my head. I was not thinking about that. So yeah, <laughs> first stage was a fail, but this one is a lot better. Like a lot better. And Charizard is definitely taking hits better because of his uh, Sync Grid. So I'm, <laughs> I'm so happy I changed his Sync Grid for this event. Because I don't know why I had uh, Flare Blitz on uh, his Sync Grid. When I could have just put in uh, his... I forget the name of his passive uh, for the Sync Grid. But like, it's a lot better for uh, for this. Because uh, like when you use My Destiny, his stats get lowered. But uh, with his uh, passive or with his Sync Grid... It ignores those status, or you can get rid of them and make them a positive, so it's good. I'm happy with that. Uh, so, wait. Wait, have we been missing the entire time? Oh, he cannot be burned. Okay. So now he can't be burned. Alright. I did not see that. Alright, so Torterra is done. 
And then uh, once he starts attacking my Torkoal, Torkoal is going to be done too. And yeah, okay, so Torkoal is done here. Oh no, he survived. Alright. So now, uh, I'm probably going to go start going for Heat Wave just because it's only a 3 of our moves. So if we could land more hits more often with it. Uh, come on. Yes, okay. Uh, now, yeah, I think my charts are done here. Yep, done. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to finish this off right now, because I don't want this video to be extremely long, even though it's probably already 20 minutes. I can't, <laughs> I can't see it. I can't see how long the timer is. So, for getting to basically two bars, or the last help bar, we got 50 gems, 30 three-star level up manuals, uh, one three-star level up manual, and, uh, 50 gems. So, total, we got 100 gems here, but then completing it, we get 200 gems in total, because... With completing it, we get 100 gems or 150, but regardless, it's going to be either 150 or 250 or 300. Uh, but, yeah, so we're going to quickly, actually, hmm, I don't know if we'll be able to finish it. Uh, kind of with the status, uh, status condition, he'll, uh, he'll be able to, we'll be able to do more damage. Uh, but I don't know if, okay, so preset, so we'll go over here. Do, I, I, I don't know if I have another Pokemon that could do a status condition on him. That's actually good. That, cause I, I totally forgot to, hmm, okay. Uh, do we have anybody, maybe putting him to sleep would be better? But I know with Hypnosis with Gengar, it's going to be much more difficult. That's the thing. Uh, hmm. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Whatever. We'll we'll give it a try, and if we fail with this team, um, then oh no 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 no, I don't want to put you there. <laughs> I don't want to put you there. For the striker here, I'll I'll put you in. I'll put uh him in. Yeah, whatever. I'll put you in, even though we could, we could do a 50%, like, our chances to burn him are a lot better. Uh, and then we'll put you, just to take damage, even though we already had you in, and then we'll just put Eevee. We'll just do this, and then we'll put the, uh, we'll put this stuff on him, uh, since you're level 2 and yours is level leveled up, we're gonna put that in, and then we're gonna put this in, uh, it's only level 1, but <laughs> it's okay, level 2 star, <laughs> and then now we're gonna go into the fight hopefully we're gonna be able to oh tactic whoops i almost forgot about that again uh so we'll put you in there and then we'll start going into the event i know ho-oh isn't gonna be good like as good as charizard but at least he has a good chance to burn on his uh moves so oh his evasion nice okay i don't really use uh ho-oh like this is actually like the first time i'm sort of using Ho-Oh, and he's actually pretty bad. <laughs> he's not doing much damage at all. Like, what, 60 damage? 90? What the hell? That is crazy. I know he gets stronger as, uh... Hmm. Okay, yeah. He... <laughs> that, that's a fail. That's a fail. Alright, so I'm just gonna end it after this video. After this, uh, this battle, honestly. <laughs> Such a fail, but I'll make another video going into this properly with the uh, proper team. So, yeah, but you know, I'm just gonna now. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, this is the Legendary Arena with Cobalion. Uh, it's definitely gonna be a little bit more difficult than the Entei event, I feel. Uh, but yeah, it is. I'm, I'm so happy this event came back, and uh, I want like, are you guys excited for this event? Cause I know like this event is fun. I like it. Uh, do you guys like it? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, also, if you are taking on this event, what kind of uh, uh, teams, like what teams are you using? Um, uh, I just went into this just to check out the event, when my Charizard, that's it. Uh, and then I'll make a proper video going through the event and what teams would be the best and stuff like that. So yeah, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is the Legendary Arena. It's back with Cobalion, and I will see you guys in the next video.